Now we will show uh, how a simple synthesizer is uh, realized using the Touchbox editor, uploaded into the Touchbox and played on the touch screen. So we start the PC based editor written in Java. So this is the structure view where the modules are connected and this is the interface view where uh, what will appear on the touch screen is uh, previewed. So we start by creating a keyboard module. So this is the module with its inputs and outputs. And this is how this uh, interface module will appear on the touch screen. So we place the module here. And uh, now we create the sound generating device, which we can choose, for example, to use a square wave oscillator. And uh, we want to connect the frequency output of the keyboard module to the frequency input of the oscillator. So we do it like this, clicking on the output of the first module and connecting it to the input of the oscillator. Try again. Here. And uh, then we connect the output of the oscillator to the audio out. So this would give rise to a very simple synth in which this oscillator is always sounding through the audio outputs and its frequency is controlled by which key is pressed on the keyboard. So if we generate the code for this very simple synthesizer, we can then switch to uh, MADE and this code is automatically uploaded into the Touchbox project. So you see that the file of the assembly program for Magic has been modified. So this is the new file that's been generated by the editor. Then we build the project. And the assembly file and the main file have uh, been changed. We load the program into the board. Now the program is loaded and we are ready to start the board. When we will uh, start the program, uh, we will see that the LED of the JTest shows the operating system version and we will hear the, oscill the oscillator sounding through the speakers. So, if we now start the um, touch screen emulator for the board, we are ready to communicate. You see that uh, the operating system is now on because the LED is, is uh, has light up, the power LED. And we can start the touch screen emulator so that we are ready to communicate with the board. Now stop the GDB process to allow the access to the serial port and after we start the touch screen emulator which is ready to communicate with the board. So the OS is started and that the oscillator is now sounding through the speakers and we can change its frequency by using the keyboard module.